So hey guys, um, it's a new video, and yeah, um, what I'm going to be doing this video is just giving you some tips and essentially showcasing my cards. Um, not much else to it uh, apart from that. Um, this is one of those videos where, um, yeah, it's kind of an in-between thing. Uh, there's an event going on that I'm not particularly interested in, um, so, you know, there's that. But at the same time, um... I do want to show you guys some videos, you guys some have some questions, I see some things from the game that I find interesting and I think you might be want to know, maybe you want to know about the game. So first off, right off the bat, um, if you do capture mine, you can refresh now. Um, what that means is that, say you buy all of the Uchiha's Nightmare that you can, and you need it instantly because, if I recall correctly, uh, Obito needs 600, but you can only get 500 per day. Instead of having to wait for the next day, um, what you can go ahead and do is spend 50 gold and you can refresh it. Um, which means that um, you, you'll, ha you'll be able to buy another 500, which he has Nightmare. Um, this works for just about everything. Um, personally, I would do it for the Bloodline Stone and for the Ninja Dog Park. Everything else um, isn't exactly needed in bulk, but at the same time, Keep in mind, that's cool. and honestly, I don't know how much more gold it is after this first time, which is 50. I would assume that you can only refresh it um, a certain amount per day. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that more than likely, this is affected by your VIP level. So if you're VIP with two or three, um, you may be only able to refresh once or not even any time at all. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so these are my cards at the moment. I have Silver Obito Uchiha, Diamond Hanzo. Gold Kakashi, Gold Sakura, Gold Sasuke, Gold Naruto, Bronze Mifune. Um, I wasn't particularly looking to get Bronze Mifune, but during the event um, for Hanzo, I got enough fragments to get him to Bronze. I have another full Mifune, but I don't have enough to um, get him to Silver. So I'm just going to wait for Mifune or another Hanzo event, event to either get him to um, Silver or Gold, or possibly even Diamond if he's good enough. I have, can get to Gold... Um, Mu Gold, Hinata Gold, um, Uchiha Shisui Bronze, Ginkaku and Ginkaku Bronze, uh, Kabuto, Sage Kabuto, um, Diamond, Mei, the Mizukage, uh, a Bronze, the Third Ray Kage, just this purple card, um, his enhanced purple card, because you need two, um, the Third Ray Kage to get him to be able to metal him, which means Bronze, Silver, and Gold, so keep that in mind. Lightning Release, uh, the Ray Kage, the Fourth Ray Kage. Um, once again, you need two fourth right Kages to get them to this stage, and after this, you only need a normal one to, um, what do you call it? To get them to bronze, silver, and gold. I have a gold Tsunade, gold Jiraiya, a normal Namini Kazuminato. I never did get around to getting him to the fourth Hokage, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it happens. I have gold Hoshikage Kisame. Hoshi Hoshigaki Kisame. Um, I'm really hoping for an event which turns him to Diamond or a level 105 card because he is honestly one of my favorites. And look at his CP just without anything equipped to him. He has 495k CP, which is freaking awesome. I have a Bronze Jugo, Bronze Sugetsu, um, a Bronze Sai, Bronze Yamamoto. All these guys, I just kind of wait for the three-day things and slowly but surely cultivate them. Um, no particular reason. I just kind of have them like that. I have a Gold Zabuzama Moshi. Um, I got him because, you know, I thought, should his event ever come, he does give away a headband. So I thought that'd be pretty cool to just have, if nothing else, than to say that I have it. And eventually it will become an exclusive equip for Hoshigaki Kisume. So, you know, I just thought I'd get that. Um, I have a Brontosaurus. I'm working towards gold right now. Um, I almost have enough for diamond. Not diamond, I mean for silver. But it's a slow process because I only do the trial dungeon like three times per day and that's it. I have a Kuditsuchi. I kind of regret getting her simply because I don't need her anymore. Simple as that. It's because I don't have any of her equips and I have no way of turning her in into bronze, silver, or gold, so, I mean, to me, that's just kind of money wasted. But, I mean, if you're a low-level um, guy, it's she's not so bad. She does deal a fairly decent amount of damage, but, eh, doesn't impress me, basically. Uh, Madara Uchiha, you can cultivate him. I did. I have, like, 
two of them or th two or three of them just in in items ready to be turned into cards. Hopefully they'll be able to get him to the six path Madara during his event, or at the very least the real Madara Uchiha. But you know, fingers crossed. Chojiro, um, same thing with Mei. I kind of got him um, when I first started this game. And yeah, he's a fairly good card. I mean, he seals his sealing thing. It's 100%. You know, it, even if you miss, you're still going to seal. It's kind of why I have him. And eventually he does go to bronze, silver, and gold. It's just that our game isn't ahead enough. If you look into the Chinese server, um, he is actually just... Uh, I believe he turns into the fifth, sixth, sixth or fifth Mizukage. Can't remember which, but yeah, he turns fairly powerful eventually. Uh, Ichiraku Uncle, I just have him for the stamina that you gave. You have him in your collections. I mean, he goes to level seventy-five in his blue card form, so he, he should be good for it later on. And if you ever play the Chinese server, um, he's freaking OP. I mean, his. Six ramen paths form is um insanely powerful. It can confuse, it can stun, it can insta kill. It does a bunch of things. Um, Shiramura Danzo, I have him just because I I was able to get him. Um, during the of uh, his, uh, the top the Ambu Ambu secret letter, and if you open them up, you usually get fifteen fragments for um Danzo. And honestly, I just got enough fragments to be able to turn them into gold. Simple as that. Um, Human Path. Uh, got them from the, uh, what's it called? Broken Black Rod. Uh, same thing with the Prieta Path. The Kazikagi Gara. Um, once upon a time, I did want to make a uh, gold Commander, Commander Gara, but you know what? I saw the grind for it. And I thought, nope, I'm not going to do this. And I kind of just left him right now as he is as a Kazekage Gara. Um, maybe someday um, during one of his events that I have spare cash or something. I'll turn him, turn him into gold dot Gara, But um, at the moment, no, it's not going to happen. Gold Orochimaru. I kind of just saved up for him over my time consuming. You get you can get his fragments as rewards. Um, He's not particularly hard to get if you've been playing a long time. He just takes a very long time to get. And if you want to get him fast... You have to drop a lot of cash either during his event or when his fragments you spend a lot of gold. Simple as that. But eh, he's an okay card. I mean he's at 634k CP. Um reason being for that is because I have his passive on him. He's level 105. Eventually he'll go to gold, but you know, at the moment he's still I mean to diamond, but at the moment he's still just um, you know, gold. Um my guy, Morning Peacock. I actually grinded this my guy from from like the guy, morning peacock, my guy, and I just kind of have him just to have him, no particular reason. Um, other than that, Uchiha Shisu, I mean Itachi Uchiha. Um, I'm fairly close to getting him to gold to level one, level ninety. Um, but I have to spend more cash, and at the moment I'm saving everything I can for the Madara event. So I'll probably be getting Itachi Uchiha at, like his level ninety, um, form um during the Madara event, or if not after, but it should be fairly soon for that. Kimono Kushina, um, during her event, a lot of her fragments dropped, and I just created her. Simple as that. Nothing else to it, really. Um, Kozuku, Kakuzu, oh yeah, Kakuzu, Kozuku, Kakuzu, whatever you want to call him. Um, him, uh, during his event, a lot of his fragments dropped, and every once in a while, I'll do trial dungeons, like the Anastasia trial for his, um, not for him specifically, but for Hinata. And uh, I'll just get him as a drop, his fragments. And eventually I just kind of turned him into this form. You need like 14 Kozuku um, to actually get him to gold. But maybe someday, um, since I have noticed that his diamond card is rather powerful. Shino, same thing. It's for the collections. Eventually he'll go to bronze, silver, and gold. But at the moment not. So, you know, it's just he's just kind of there. Neji Hyuga, I've had him for a very, very long time. He's originally the sealer that I used when I fought the Three Tails way back uh, when I started playing this game, which is strangely like six or four months ago. So yeah, you know, time passes fast. Feels like a long time, but it really hasn't been. Um, Conan got her, I believe, during an event. Uh, just have her. She's a fairly useful card. Simple as that. 
Hidan, um, I just have him to complete the Nagato Uzumaki thing. I'm gonna get Nagato Uzumaki eventually, just not now. Just kinda how it is. Awakening Sakura. I am, I'm saving her up for, um, for Silver Sasori. Um, but apart from this, there's not much else to see. Just like, you know, normal cards, and that's it. And yeah, that's about it for now. That's all the cards that I've got that are worth mentioning. Anything else is like, blue card or uh, uh what's it called there's a screen at this point um but yeah it's about it i'll make a weapon video tomorrow if nothing else just to show you show you like what weapons i have which are my favorites why i have them why when i got them how i got them and all that stuff but that's about it for this video um yeah so, yeah, leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you don't. I appreciate you watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.